I had the pleasure to spend a day recently with Ruth Kidd in southern New South Wales, who with her family run a very successful dairy business. Starting with only 160 cows in 1985, they now milk over 1,200. It is a seasonal calving herd with a 10-week joining period and a 5% empty rate. It sounds too good to be true. This story outlines how Ruth and her family have been able to achieve extraordinary fertility results using a three-way crossbreeding program. So Ruth, tell me briefly about your farm. So we were a Holstein herd when we came up here and um, we found that we were getting like above 20% empty rate and so we then we started playing with uh, jerseys, mixing jerseys in there and found so much better um, conception rate and uh, we liked the cows and um, after a while we decided we well, couldn't work out what to do from that cross and uh, we, we come across this three-way crossing and gone on from there. In 2006, Ruth began the three-way crossing. This can be quite complex keeping track of three breeds. So we, we use a colour system to identify the cows, so we don't talk about the breed, we just talk about the colour. colour. So three yep. blue, three, two red and two, two yellow. And in the AI tank, there, this, the semen that we're going to use for that cow is the yellow the blue or the red as yeah. well. Yeah, so it's colour coded all the way through right back to your yes. um, to your AI tank and including I understand your AI guns are also colour coded so yes. there'll be uh, yep. blue semen in the tank, blue gun, blue cow, yeah. yes. all the way through. through. Yep. You've got a really nice simple system um, in terms of your sire selection but how many AI balls would you use? We usually use three, one Frisian, one Jersey and one Ayrshire or Norwegian Red, whichever bull we're using that year. So you're inseminating 1,200 cows and you're using three bulls? Yes, yes. Lovely so and simple. The kids have Ayrshire, Frisian and Jersey semen in the tank. Their three-way cross system works in the following way. Ayrshire semen is used to join all cows side by a Frisian. Jersey semen is used to join all cows side by an Ayrshire and Frisian semen is used to join all cows side by a jersey. What's the length of your joining period? The, the AI, we inseminate for 14 days and we'll usually inseminate about 95% of the herd in that time and then we put the bulls out for another two months. Have you um, seen an improvement in submission rate or conception rate? Conception rates have, have improved um, and that's that's really allowed us to keep our, our seasonal calving herd, which allows us to manage our pastures the best for, for our type of system sort of thing. What's your knot and calf rate been like? Usually four or five percent empty rate. Ruth, what other advice would you give to dairy farmers that are looking to start a three-way crossbreeding program? You, you've got to select semen that or bulls that are really fertile and have a history of having a calf every year. What you're describing is with your, you're getting the benefits of heterosis with the three-way cross, but on top of that you're, always, you're also selecting for high daughter fertility um, bulls in amongst that. So you're getting genetic gain with breeding for fertility and then you're getting the heterosis of the three-way cross. So yeah, so there's a double whammy, a double whammy yeah, 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 yeah. that really makes a difference. How do you go with your animal health issues? Um, since we've been three-way crossing, we reckon our animal health has improved. Um, the cows, we've got quite low cell counts, the fertility is good. We don't get that many metabolic problems. They're just like a stronger, tougher cow, we reckon. Has fertility been an important factor in, in, in the, the, the success of your business? Oh, definitely. Um, Going the three-way crossing and um, improving our fertility has allowed us to actually grow more grass and utilise it directly into the cows to make the best use of that and get the best returns and that's allowed us to grow like so much quicker than what we ever expected to do. It's simple for us and, and it's, we're not driving tractors and feeding out all the time which, which we don't enjoy, we enjoy the cows and the grass. So gives us options to, to either milk more or sell more or with the changing seasons and how things are changing we have to be really flexible with how we manage our system. 
If we want to set up another dairy, we can do that. So it's always on the cards.